What do we got? Sir, we have this little thing called Hercules Mulligan Rum and Rye. It's so pretty. It is. It's just so pretty. And I gotta say, they pulled out all the stops with the packaging. Yeah. We got the whole like we got the whole press kit. We got the shebang. We did. We got a lot. We got this lovely little welcome note. Dear sir or madam, it is my pleasure to present to you the enclosed items for your satisfaction. Please enjoy with or without friends at your discretion. Some secrets are hard to keep. Others are hard to find. I wish you full enjoyment with secrets to spare. Hercules Mulligan. Taylor. Spy. Drink Smith. So apparently Hercules Mulligan was a tailor in New York, an Irish immigrant who was quite a haberdasher, and the British officers would come to see him, and during the Revolutionary War, he would ply them with alcohol. they basically tell him what was going on. Isn't and a haberdasher a hat maker? A, a clothing guy. Oh, is that a general term? A general term for a clothing guy. Oh, okay. okay. So he, uh, he was quite the tailor and haberdasher. So hmm. all the fineries, they'd go there. So he's there. He's probably giving them some whiskey, having a couple uh -huh. drinks. And doing their measurements, doing their stuff. And mm -hmm. Does it hang to the left? Does it hang to the right? Suddenly they'd there? give up a little too much secrets. Oh, okay. All right. Well, like I said, they pulled out all the stops. So we got the bottle. They gave us a lovely little rocks glass. We've got a feather. I'm not sure what that's for. I don't know either. You can have the feather. Tickle your fancy. <laughs> you well, actually, my youngest wants the feather. We got a key. We got some, uh, what else we got? We got coasters a and a tape we measure. We got coasters, a tape measure. Well, not really a tape measure, it's just a ribbon. It looks like a tape measure. So we got some coasters. And lastly, you know, mm. pair of scissors. Pair of scissors. So we got a lot of stuff. And a map of Lower East Side, Man of the, you know, Lower Manhattan. So. So, uh, if you want to pour, I'll read a little bit more. Yeah. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I opened it a little. I didn't drink it, but I opened it. A little pop. Do we get a glug? I'm hoping. I think I'm going to get I'm hoping. One. Oh. The glug glug. There you go. Okay. Continue. So, this is the brainchild of Spirits Industry veteran Steve Lutman. Grisa Soba, the co-founder of Flaviar, and Mario Mazza of New York-based Five and Twenty Distilling. Mm -hmm. They're affectionately known as the Three Musketeers, and they put together this, and the drink itself is a 50-50 blend of Caribbean-aged rum, homegrown American rye whiskey, inspired by the Revolutionary Era. They introduce fresh, organic ginger root that's macerated into the rum and rye blend, had a splash of bitters, mm. and there you go. So it's like a cocktail it's, in a glass. They refer to it as an Irish old fashioned. Huh. Okay. I'm in. Cheers, sir. So, settle it. Slange, since he's Irish. Mm. Fancy. This is 43% alcohol. And Ooh. then comes in a nice 750. What's the 43% you said? 43%. Not shy. It's a real beverage. Not shy. This is like the real deal. This is like a, this is almost like that Hochstetter's Rock and Rye. Yep. That kind of thing, you know, where it's like, that's not something you want to slug. They are not fooling around. No. It smells good. It certainly does. I get the ginger, you know, I get, I get a little bit of rum, I get a little bit of that rye spice. What else did they say they put in there? Uh, ginger, a splash of bitters, and then the rye and the rum. Hmm. Did they say what kind of bitters? Like, I almost got like an Angus story they kind of thing. They did not say the bitters. Mmm. smells delicious. All right, I'm going in. You should go in. I'm going in. Why don't you go in? Going in. Should I go in? I went in. Stay up. Oh, okay. I'm getting up. Ooh, that's nice. Sweet, spicy, pretty well balanced. That is nice. That's nice. That's like that is a cocktail in a glass, isn't it? That's a very strong cocktail in a glass. That is very dangerous in a glass. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is very nice. It's a little syrupy too. There's like a little yeah. bit of viscosity yeah. to it, which gives you the impression you're drinking a cocktail. Right. Forty-three percent, chugging it down. Right. So this would probably be really nice over ice. I, I think they've given us a number of drink suggestions. Hmm. A lot of them are basically takes on sours and mules and things along those do, lines. Do you, do you have a favorite amongst that? The one I think I'm going to like best is this one. Neat. Neat. Just, is there a picture? What, what's that look like? Just give it to me neat. What's that Pretty look like? sure it looks a little bit like that. Nice. <laughs> Here it is in a glass. Nice. Okay. With books, you need the books. Don't maybe you? not the books. Maybe books are ice. optional. Maybe not neat. Maybe throw but one ice cube. In. You, you know what those books are really good for, though. You know what they're really good as? Coasters. Okay. Kind of, you don't want to. You don't want to stain anything. No, you don't. Sure. Screw the book. So they suggest you use this with uh, ginger ale, with seltzer, 
How about some hot water and a fresh squeeze of lemon juice? A toddy. To give you a little Hercules hot toddy. They have the double agent, which is an ounce of this in a stout beer, which like a, a car bomb of some sort, I guess. Very mm. nice. And the Colonial Courage, which I think would be something I would also like. Two ounces of this and five ounces of hard apple cider. Oh, it would look a little bit like that. That would look real. That would be nice. I, I think that I would think be nice. I would enjoy that. This is really, really well balanced. This I is enjoy nice. the flavor. It's very nice. Again, it's it's a cocktail nice. in a glass. Yeah. And it's and it looks like it's because there's nothing but like basically you know alcohol sugar. It's going to be shelf stable too. Yeah, forty percent. So I don't think you yeah. need the refrigerator or anything. I think it's going to be fine. Yeah. As long as you keep the tight seal on it, I think it'd be good. Well, I think it's yeah. a pretty tight seal. It's not yeah. like a, it's not like a crappy little cork. Yeah. It's one of those synthetic corks, but not like it's you know how some of them you can't really get them out. It, it's in there. That's pretty good. I really didn't like one. That was that's that's nice. That is very nice. That was really good. So uh, Flaviar put this together <clears throat> as a crowdsource. Yeah. At the in three week period, they raised seven hundred fifty thousand dollars wow. to go and get this crowdsourced and put on the market. And they rolled out two thousand bottles of this hmm. as their first run. And I'm going to guess they're going to keep rolling it out. And uh, now they've got over fifteen thousand bottles they've sold in just under two years. I can honestly say I have zero complaints about that. That's really good. Now I don't. Th I think they're. It, it almost feels like they're using. Um, they don't say what rum they're using, right? They say it's Caribbean rum. You know, but it's almost got like it, it almost like it would be like uh, one of the you know like the Zacapas, like the thicker more yeah, syrupy ones. Yeah, like not a, a, necessarily a, the, the. It ain't the, four square. The Demara sugars. No, there's yeah, no there's no noise or funk in this. This is yeah. not four square. This is not yeah. Long Pond. No, this is going to be more one of the sweeter rums, which is yeah. fine because I think it works with the rum. Yeah, I think it counterbalances the rum nicely. And so they're they're uh, kind of most the right you mean, and they're yeah, uh, they're they're using uh, rye. I'm guessing from the five and twenty distilling in New York that they're making their own rye whiskey. Yeah. And yeah. whether they make it or they source it, it doesn't say. But they're coming yeah. up with a, a yeah. good product, and I think the ABV is probably close to right. Right. No, it's good. I like it. I like it. So um, you know, it's not something we've had, so it's kind of hard to judge it against other things. But I'd say this is as good as the Hochstatters. So yeah. it's just a little different. It's like a twist yeah. on the Hochstatters. So, Slightly I mean, higher EVP too than the yeah, I mean, It's just good. It's just really, really nice. I enjoyed it. It was nice. You know, and, and a little goes a long way. So this could be. There's several cocktails. And in I, this. Yeah, I think the recipes in here are certainly something to water this down a bit yeah. <laughs> to make it a little, little less pow mm -hmm. powerful. Yeah. But uh, the cocktails themselves seem like they're really well thought out, and mm -hmm. it's ingredients you can find anywhere. It's not something obscure that you have to buy just from Flaviar or something. Now, I don't usually put whiskey on the rocks, but because it has the sweetness, yeah. I think it would be nice because it'll mellow. Well, and it's the cocktail of glass, so it's, it's an old-fashioned. It's an old-fashioned. It's, an old -fashioned. it's, an, yeah, it's the, the, the Irish old-fashioned. Yeah, I so, I yeah. mean, throw a little ice on that, throw it over a rock, That's good. and just sip it, you know? So That's good. Anyhow, sir, cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers to Hercules Mulligan. And thank you to Handcrafted PR for uh, you know getting us on the list and sending us this yeah. stuff. It was Beautiful pretty, bottle, pretty nice tasty packaging, everything. Yeah, well done. Good. Cheers. Cheers.